Hi guys, welcome in my second part of linguistics. In this video, we'll talk about linguistics, its uh, branches and its subfields, and also we will talk about language and its features. So let's start. First, what is linguistics? Linguistics refers to the scientific or systematic study of language. It is a science in the sense that it scientifically studies the rules, systems and principles of human languages. And it is guided by three canons, exhaustiveness, consistency and economy. Exhaustiveness means it strives for thorough examination of relevant materials. Consistency, that is, there should be no cons contradiction between different parts of the total statement. And economy means a shorter statement or analysis is to be preferred to one that is longer or more complex. Linguistics has two main purposes. The first one is the study of the language nature means it tries to establish a theory and describes language in the light of that theory. The second purpose is the examination of all the forms of language, to seek a scientific understanding of the ways in which it is organized to fulfill the needs it serves and the function it performs in human life. Microlinguistics or subfelds includes phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. And among macro-linguistics or branches, we can mention sociolinguistics, psycholinguistics, stylistics, discourse analysis, computational linguistics, and applied linguistics. Phonetics, it is the systematic study of speech sounds and it is divided into articulatory phonetics, means how speech sounds are produced, auditory phonetics, which studies how they are perceived by the ear, and acoustic phonetics, which looks at the physical characteristics of speech sounds. Phonology is the study of patterning of speech sounds in languages, the rules of combination between phonetic and phonemic. Morphology is the study of words structure and types of their formation. It is generally divided into inflectional morphology and derivational morphology. Syntax is the study of the rules of combination of words into phrases, clauses, and sentences. Semantics is the study of meaning in all its aspects. It is generally accepted that words, phrases, and sentences have meaning. Lexical semantics studies the meaning of words and sense relations such as synonymy, antonymy, and eponymy. Sentence semantics or uh, Sentential semantics is concerned with the meaning of sentences. Pragmatics is the study of how context and, situ and uh, situation affects meaning and how hearers arrive at the intended meaning of speakers. Sociolinguistics is a branch of linguistics that studies the relations between language and society. Psycholinguistics studies the mental structures and processes which are involved in the acquisition, comprehension, and production of language. Stylistics is the study of how literary effects can be related to linguistic features. Discourse analysis is the study of the relationship between language and the context in which language is used. Computational linguistics is an approach to linguistics which employs mathematical techniques often with the help of a computer. 
Applied linguistics is primarily concerned with the application of linguistics theories, methods, and findings to the educational of language problems which have arisen in other areas of ex experience. Now, what is language? According to John B. Carroll, language is an arbitrary system of speech sounds or sequences of speech sounds which is used or can be used in interpersonal communication by an aggregation of human beings and which rather exhaustively catalog things, processes and events in the human environment. From this definition, we can deduce that language has many features. First, it is systematic, because it implies orderly arrangement signal units used by language organized according to pattern. Second, it is arbitrary, means there is no inherent or logical relation or similarity between given features of language and their meaning. There is no uniformity. Number three, it is vocal, means language is always spoken. Uh, people communicate ideas by manipulating sounds that are produced by their vocal organs. Number four, it is social. It's only used in social groups which involve at least two people, the speaker and the hearer. Only human beings speak language. Language is complete. The use of human language is not limited to biological needs. It is more complete in what it, it can be used to communicate about the culture of its native speakers. Number six, displacement. Is the ability to use language to talk about times, places and people other than the, the here and now. Number seven, productivity. Language is evolving, it's, all, it's allowing us to continuously create new utterances, combining the building bricks of language in ever new ways. Number eight, cultural transmission. We don't inherit language, but we acquire it. Our native language is acquired, but other foreign languages are learned. The language passes from one generation to the next, that is cultural transmission. Number nine, duality or double articulation. Means two separate layers of language working together to provide us with a pool of sounds which we can combine to communicate with one another. We have a limited discrete sounds which can uh, give us unlimited distinct meaning when we combine when we combine them. This is all. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe.